to the Thier Thierry Mugler. <laughs> God, I can't, I can't say the name. I don't know, like, uh, how do they say? Thierry, Thierry, Thierry Mugler. hi everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello and welcome aboard how are you all my lovelies my name is claire and today i'm here with another perfume video but in today's special we are talking about the avon faraway fragrance range yay apologies about my voice i'm gonna just speak a bit low not to strain it because i think i'm catching a cold and um before we get into the video could you please like the video comment on it subscribe and don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so that you are notified each time i post a new video be sure of new content every week this original faraway perfume first came out in 1994 and it has proved itself anyone who uses avon products they will tell you whether you are a representative or a customer you will know that it is the best seller fragrance of all the um avon perfumes of all time so since 1994 it has grown it has grown a range and it has included now about six of the faraway uh, perfumes and this is what i'm gonna be reviewing today and showing you what i have in my collection so we are gonna be talking about the um avon faraway fragrance range original faraway perfume as you can see there i'll have just a little bit sprays left this perfume honestly because when you smell it smell that yeah this perfume comes with a rich warm aroma of vanilla and as it unfolds you can definitely smell the femininity of uh, jasmine in it this perfume like you know look at the bottle it comes over like that it has this um the topper which is in form of a ball with a mixture of pink and black with the tassel of course look that makes it look glamorous so each time this i run out of this perfume i just have to run and get more of it so recently they have changed the packaging to this one but it's still the same perfume so at the moment this is the current bottle it's still oval but they've changed um a bit of design around there like you see and the topper comes in a light pink i think that looks so nice and of course not forgetting the tassel it's there we still have our tassel on there so this perfume is so nice to be honest i don't know what i would have done with this perfume because you can't stop the comments coming in i mean positive comments when you wear this perfume i will just tell you a story <coughs> excuse me like years ago when i was on holiday in uganda i just went to this arcade to buy some products and i was like i don't know like the setting in um those kinds of mall the sellers are what like near one another all of them and selling almost similar products but they didn't have what i was looking for but this lady she kept on explaining to me i understand why you like but i don't have it and then in the end she just say even if you don't buy but i i just have to tell you this you are wearing a nice fragrance and she said far away she knew what it was like be sure many people will know <clears throat> many people will know what you are wearing they will know it's far away original but it still smells good i don't mind like if somebody tells what fragrance i'm wearing although sometimes i try to mix the 
to mix them up and uh, just confuse people around but this lady was spot on she said you know you just don't have to buy anything you don't have to since i don't have what you are looking for but you know you smell nice uh, I like that fragrance and you know she knew what it was so I think she had used it before so that is to say the perfume is really really nice I would give it like to me I would just give it nine maybe eight nine ten out of ten like it is at the far end I really really love this perfume it's one of the um first perfumes i go in my collection and even up to now i still use it so yeah so i'll give it about a nine in the range i would say a nine out of ten out of the um would it be a 10 even it could get a 10 but i'm um, between 9 9.5 10 so it's really good because you know over as i wouldn't have continued to use it if it wasn't that good but i think um some people may think oh it's you know old some old perfume like years ago and you know why aren't you like looking at new brands but you know I have other brands I look at new ones but this one I feel I will always I will always have the faraway original in my collection and like I said it's 12 pounds but at the moment if you go to the Avon um, website they deal doing deals so you may find it cheaper 11 yeah so that is our faraway original and i don't know what i would have done without this perfume i always have to have it within my collection level or wherever you go with this perfume you won't be forgotten you will just leave a story behind i'm telling you honestly so next we have the gold faraway gold like you see still with the tassel you see yeah so look at that when i heard that uh far away is coming in the gold as well i just said i just have to get it i just had to because i thought you know i like the way the range is moving because coming in gold you know it just makes it stand out like look at that it just turns out you know you just cannot get this one because i just thought all the new like modern you know the modern perfumes they come quite in gold a lot like you can see there many of them like the new packagings if you see other perfumes like one million if you know the one million perfume it's in a gold packaging um different ones of them you know out there they either do like the lid will be gold or the bottle there will be some element in gold obviously the gold makes it stand out um let's spray as well spray a, a, a little bit down there perfume smells gorgeous this perfume honestly it smells so gorgeous i will tell you because um the smell just goes with the gold honestly so this is like my old one and i have recently uh topped it up with the new one so this is the new gold packaging there that's how it comes the new gold with a uh, plain black topper mm. I think this looks nice but I love this as well this packages this packaging as well look at this look that's um the two of them there yeah so that's our faraway gold this perfume i would rate it a seven out of ten that will be my rating for this one they all range the same price about 11 12 pounds depending if you're gonna buy a gift set it may be 
more than that because it will include other items as well but they are all about the same range in price with this perfume you could just escape to the golden dream and just take your senses along on the journey the perfume features notes of stunning ilang ilang beautiful jasmine and substance vanilla so all that mixed together you can just imagine the smell of it and i can tell you i love it i love this perfume <laughs> love it but it was just like smelling up here this is the original one this is the gold down here so that's how it comes once again those are the two we have the faraway infinity that's how it looks like look at how beautiful that is that is so cool because when i look at this one i see they are teal turquoise kind of topper it depends light teal turquoise it gives you the minty minty feel of things which is so cool so the infinity perfume they say it is a cocktail of all scents in the whole world so basically it has a mixture of different um let's check it out mixture of um let's spray this side this time It's my first time to use this I can still pull through the vanilla still because they all a range of oriental uh, floral fragrance that's why you should know they all floral and oriental but I don't know what I would say about this I would give it a 7 out of 10 as well because obviously this is a review and um, I would like to know I, I would like to tell you exactly how I feel about the perfume I would give this one a 7 too it's so cool I love it as well basically I love the faraway range as you can tell but um, I think this one you get a feel of like coolness coming out of it yeah when you discover this faraway infinity fragrance you will know it's just for women it has the utopia of fragrance it has um a mixture of um it's italian bergamot and you would smell the scent that comes of it it has also indian jasmine and vanilla so you just have to sprint this oldie perfume and just um go and have a long lasting fragrance the whole day until whenever you want it it's such long lasting next we have the faraway royale like you can see it comes in this very nice bottle package uh, which has a black topper but the bottle does appear like ambre with um it's a mixture of um dark darkness at the top a uh, mixture of black and dark red um as you can see so i will spray it and let you know I have to digest the scent yeah it's um it's sort of like a woody um scent to it which is good but i will give it a six out of i'll give it a six out of a ten for this one i mean you should try it yourself you never know different fragrances smell differently on different people this perfume comes off with um magnificent floral oriental and woody scent to it and to be honest if you spray it you will just um you know process the um woody kind of smell 
this scent comes off with the sprints of a striking coriander seed oil jasmine and essential vanilla bean scent to it there you go like i say it's a seven out of ten it also costs around 11 pounds and um yeah i would recommend it I would recommend all the range anyway so i'm gonna say to each one of them i will recommend and then it's up to you if you wanna try or if you've used it before let us know i mean it is the new range of avon faraway perfumes we're talking about here next we have the faraway rebel and diva come on look at that look at how that looks the pink only says it all you know there's been an upgrade in the packaging this is like the modern um faraway range um there is the uh faraway rebel just rebel when i um i can get the image and put it for you up there you will see the uh, rebel i think it's in a purple bottle but this one is the faraway rebel and diva that's the one and um you know the packaging just um says it all because when you look at it come on it just screams premium i know many of you wouldn't buy a perfume just because of the way the bottle looks i've been tempted to do that i've done it before i must agree i'm guilty but some people want to know how it smells fast it's not all about the bottle but i know that the range has never disappointed so it would still be a nice perfume i will spray on here this smells so good guys this smells so good the pink just brings out all the um the nice soft you know gully pink kind of thing like you see and uh the topper the way it comes flat and shaped like um rectangular there it just gives it that diva diva look and i see that the way the bottle has been sculptured and it says it all i love this one as well i would actually give this one eight out of ten i would and i think they are really doing well with their uh, range because they are thinking of how better they can make it how um modern and how you know what else what else look at that photo i don't know if it's a reflection from my dress but i see a red i hope i'm not color blind here but i also see pink in it so i'm not so sure whether it's a combination of both red and pink but it does appear like that actually the top topper of it the lid appears more of a red and um between them the middle appears more of a pink so we can say red or pink and just unleash your confidence with this faraway rebel and diva perfume featuring the pink peppercorn jasmine sambac and the caramel popcorn accord all in one perfume there for you like mentioned it does also come in the faraway rebel which is a purple and i've had some people saying you know for the affordable price it's um an alternative to the um mogla perfume so yeah you could try it i will look it out and pull its image somewhere up there on the screen look out for it and last but not the least this was um intentionally made to come last it is the packaged faraway glamour perfume the gift set comes like that and it comes in black which um straight away tells me it's a night perfume so we open this one I 
love that. Look at that. That's how it comes inside the perfume. That's how they pack it. It's a gift set. So we have the body lotion. That's the body lotion. And we have the deodorant. So the body lotion, the deodorant. And the perfume itself. And the perfume itself comes like that. No. The perfume itself. So that's how it comes. It comes with a black in a black bottle, black topper, and um black as well with the topmost bit darker black lightening out to the bottom so that's how it comes so like its name it's the faraway glamour i mean take um a walk into the glamorous side of this perfume and just have I mean, look at that. Let's uh, check this. <laughs> so, ah, uh, guys, yeah. I would say all these perfumes they have like um one common scent to it that um flaws in the whole range i think that is the vanilla bee i can smell it in this one as well i'm not so sure if it's because i've i've sprayed them all on both hands there and there so they kind of mix but yeah so it's such um glamorous perfume just take a walk with your glam side i mean with this fabulous perfume it will make you all feel nice glamorous and like the bottle it does tell me obviously it is an evening tonight perfume so be sure to wear this one if you are going out and you are ready to be fabulous and look nice